Well, we came out here to Westport today for uh, was uh, safety uh, safety concerns that we have with the uh, crabbing fishermen. Uh, what we're doing out here is a real quick safety check. All we're looking for is uh, immersion suits, survival craft, and EPIRB. And if they got those three things, then there's probably a pretty good chance that they'll survive most disasters that they could have out there. Skip her around. I'm the skipper. You the skipper. All right. Come on board. Oh, thank you. Alright. Well, you guys want to scar? Well, I'll, we actually have two of us, so one of us uh, can go up and look at the EPIRB and the, the life raft, and, yeah. uh, yeah. and uh, I'll just get some information for you. Come on up. For the EPIRB, you know, they got to have the uh, NOAA sticker. That, and what the NOAA sticker is, is it tells, uh, when the EPIRB sends out a signal that the boat is in distress, it tells the the, the NOAA, it tells NOAA that this, there's a boat out there and it tells them where to look for them and gives them all their contacts. So they need to have the right information with their NOAA sticker. They have to have the right battery. The battery date expires every 10 years and so that's what else we're looking for on the EPIRB. Make sure it flashes, flash three times so it's good. Place battery by January 2008, so we wanted to make sure this is still uh, going to activate. Okay. Again, the hydrostatic release. We want to make sure this is in uh, May 2008, so that's good as well. With the life raft, it has to be serviced once a year. It has to be in a float free, float free location so that it doesn't get caught if the boat does go down, it's able to float free and activate. We're just gonna look at just the, uh, make sure it's on here stable. That it's gonna be float free. Make sure the pannier's attached to the uh, weak link. Make sure the uh, hydrostatic release looks good and it's in good condition. Check the expiration date. Uh, so it's May and the year is May 2008. Check to see, uh, first of all, how many persons this is rated for. And it looks like it's six people. Did they, uh, they were inside? Uh, and with the immersion suits, we're making sure that they're in good condition. Uh, most, in, more, most immersion suits out there are, are horrible. And uh, if, if, if it's not at least <laughs> at least five years new, then you can probably bet it's in pretty bad shape. And what we're looking for on the immersion suits is that they have a light attached to their immersion suit, they have a whistle attached to their immersion suit, and the immersion suit is in overall good condition, that the zipper works, that everything that, uh, that gave the immersion suit its Coast Guard approval is still on the immersion suit. And uh, that's pretty much what we're looking for on, on these boats. Zip it all the way up to the... Yeah, just this. The bladder. Just this that's a fresh zip. Just as long as it's got I'm gonna a give you uh, some new retro for this. These spot checks to take it out at 10 to 10 to 20 minutes if we're able to do them at the dock. And if they refuse them, they get boarded out at sea. It's about an hour and a half to two hours. Operation Safe Crab 2007 it means that we're going to every single port on the coast that has a high contingency of crabbers and we are, are, are doing our safety checks. You know, 10 minutes, those three things. They got those three things they can survive. You know, I'm confident that they'll be able to survive. And that's the most important thing, is saving their life.